I've been playing a lot of official DayZ recently, and one of the things I've noticed is some items in game are completely useless to me and the way I play DayZ. So in today's video, we're going to go through my seven picks of the most useless items in DayZ. <laughs> Now there's a load of different items in the game. Some of these items might be useful to you. Some of these items might not be used to you. There might be some other items in game that you don't use and find useless as well. Leave me know in the comment section down below if you know of any. But these are my picks of some of the most useless items I have noticed in the game recent. First off are the Christmas lights that spawn in the game. Now these are a very small package but to actually get these to work you need all of this equipment in front of you. You need a generator, you need a cable reel, you need a tent to place them on, you need a spark plug and you need a gas canister to be able to run the generator. So what you have to do is take a cable reel, plug it in to your power generator, you gotta place your cable reel, then you gotta take your Xmas lights, plug them in, then you can go into your tent, then attach them then you got to make sure you have a spark plug in there and that your generator is filled with fuel. And once you have that done, you can switch on your generator and that's the amount of light you get back. It just seems, <laughs> for all of that effort, it just seems really uh, kind of pointless to use all of that time and resource and energy to get all of these items to have that amount of light on a tent. They do look kind of cool, I suppose. It's like a decoration, but completely useless in my opinion. Another item that I find completely useless, I think a lot of people might be the same way, is the smoke grenades that you can find around the map. I have played on a lot of servers over the years I've been playing DayZ. I played heavily modded, I played official, lightly modded, you name it, we've tried it out. And one of the things that I rarely see people use is smoke grenades. Now, a lot of people have always complained that the smoke isn't the greatest and that it doesn't spread out, doesn't cover you enough in PvP fights. And that is true, but from what I've heard as well, this is pretty realistic in the way smoke grenades actually work. You know, they're not like in CSGO or whatever, where they're just a big cloud of smoke. So even though they do look good for realism points, when it comes to actually being useful in game, they're not the greatest. I've never seen anybody use these in official, in like a PvP situation. Same with modded servers as well. The only time I've ever seen these being used is if somebody has one that they didn't realize they have. And they're like, oh, I'm pulling the pin and chucking this in the field just to get rid of it. To me, I've never really seen the point of the smoke grenades, especially if they're not really effective. And in my opinion, just another useless item that I never pick up and always pass them. Another item that I've never actually used in game is being the medical thermometer. It measures your character's temperature and it gives you your character's temperature above the temperature icon down with the rest of your icons. This is something I've never actually had to use in game for the simple fact that I know when I'm in the white, I'm warm and when I get into the blue, I'm cold and your character shivers and you know I've never needed to know my exact temperature in game. Now maybe if you're in on an RP server and there's some RP with it, you're playing a doctor role or something like that, I could see how this could become useful but otherwise I've never had to use this in game and I think when I actually tested it out here a minute ago before recording was the first time I've ever used this in like, I think I used it once in the alpha version of the game and I've never used it since so yeah to me another completely useless item. These two items I could probably show off at the same time, which would be the kitchen timer and the clock. Now, the clock does serve a purpose. It can actually tell you the time in-game. Again, I've never actually had to know the exact time in-game for any reason. Again, if you're in an RP situation, I could see that being kind of interesting. The kitchen timer is something that I just don't understand. It gets more annoying in-game than anything else when you look at this and you're like, oh my god, I finally found some food. If you're starving to death, you're like, I found a tomato, I'm going to be saved. And it's one of these things sitting on the kitchen table. It's the most annoying thing in the world. And they do have like a timer on them. That you can set. And that will go off eventually at some stage. Same with the alarm clock. It does have an alarm you can set on them. I don't know what the reasons for them are exactly in game. I know you can attach the alarm clock to some improvised explosives. But I don't think they actually work for anything so yeah not 100% sure why they are in the game but I guess there's got to be some reason behind them and the last item on this list might be a little bit controversial to some but it's got to be the derringer this weapon was added a couple of updates ago I can't remember which one exactly but it turns out that it's not as good as a lot of us expected it to be obviously it is a tiny pistol found on the coast but 
it was something that was meant to be kind of or we thought was going to be somewhat decent because it is chambered in 357. Same as the Desert Eagle revolver, repeater, all of that type of stuff. So we were thinking that this pistol, you know, having it in your um, back pocket on the coast would get you out of danger sometimes. But it's not really that good. And to be honest, I never pick it up. I'm always better off keeping the ammo and waiting to try and find a revolver. Or a deagle that do also spawn commonly on the coast. Against Zeds, it can sometimes two hit Zeds, but even against players, it can like just do no damage at all. From what I've noticed from the few times I have used it, is that it's not that great. It really isn't. So that is my list for some of the worst items in DayZ. It's a short enough list, but to be honest, I couldn't remember everything that was useless to me that I don't use in game. I usually stumble upon these items. I'm like, oh yeah, that's in the game, and then forget about it. So. This is a short list. Again, these are just my opinions. Some of you might find these items useful, but to me, I don't. If you have any other items that I didn't mention that you also find useless in game, or if you find some of these items useful in game, be sure to leave us know in the comments section down below. It'd be interesting to hear your feedback on it. 